voicemail hacked. That's exactly what happened to two News 5 employees, but it was all part of an experiment to show how vulnerable your smartphone is to hackers. Tonight, as you'll only see on News 5, Anya Winslow shows us just how easy it is to get inside your phone. Anya? Nicole, earlier this year, thousands fell victim to voicemail hacking in Britain, and that raised the question, how easy is it to hack into someone's voicemail? I partnered with two Denver-based security experts to get some answers. What was really alarming was how fast and how easy it was for them to break into our cell phones. I think everybody that's carrying a smartphone is at risk. From the Electric Alchemy office in Denver. Hi, Anya. It's Marcia calling from Dr. Ged's office. Security expert Chris Nickerson of Lares Consulting. Oh, there you go. Hacks into my voicemail using um, his phone. He shows me how simple it is to break in. All you need to do is download an app, and for a few cents a minute, you can listen to anyone's voicemail. My personal Android phone is one thing, but could Chris break into a News 5 company BlackBerry? In a matter of seconds and a few strokes with a finger, Chris accesses executive producer Stephanie Bowe's phone. Stephanie, it's Kirsten. Um, I'm actually having car troubles right now, so I won't be able to get into work for the next 20 to 30 minutes. Mobile security expert Dave Campbell from Electric Alchemy wants people to realize the gravity of hacking. The smartphone, it's not a phone. It's a computer that happens to be small and it happens to make phone calls. Using an iPad and they go to their mailbox. Dave shows what could happen if you open a malicious email on your John phone Mallory. and the consequences. If the attackers done their homework, John Mallory will be somebody that I know and trust. After clicking accept, so, uh, your entire digital life as saved on your phone belongs to someone else. Once you get to that point in the game, everything that's on your phone belongs to you no longer. So this could be done completely quietly behind the scenes and very discreetly. And the hacker is now equipped with a profound amount of information about you, making you extremely vulnerable. Your location, your historic location, so where you've been over time, your contact information, so where you live, where you work, uh, and who your your friends and family are. Both Stephanie and I had Sprint phones, and a Colorado Sprint spokesperson wrote, we place high priority on protecting the personal information of our customers. At Sprint, when a customer sets up a voicemail account, the customer is required to establish a passcode. If the customer chooses to skip the passcode, they are warned that the voicemail account will be vulnerable to unauthorized access. This decision, however, is up to the customer to make. Chris adds, the responsibility of self-protection doesn't solely fall on service providers. A lot of times when you'll see all of these people with no password on their voicemail, it's because they just don't feel like typing in a password. Although a password won't guarantee full protection, Chris and David agree. Hi, Anya. It's Marcia calling from Dr. Ged's office. It does add an extra layer of protection to help keep personal information uh, personal. That's cool. For more information, visit our website, koaa.com. We've posted ways to help you figure out if your phone may have been hacked and ways to secure it. We've also included several helpful links and resources to major cell phone carriers with information on how you can set up your PIN and password if you don't already have one. Nicole? That is pretty scary. Thanks, Anya.